Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com here with another update on Bitcoin. Today is the 14th of July, it's uh, 10 past 6 in the morning UK time and before I begin I obviously need to do my usual disclaimer. This is not financial or trading advice, these are my mere speculations and observations over this market and you should never buy or sell any securities that I am analyzing according to what I'm saying this is just for me to give you my opinions but it's not for for you to put your money into what I'm saying okay if you put your money it just has to be paper trading money fake money if you want to put your money you should do your own due diligence and learn how to play in the market you can lose all your money when you trade said so we are watching a weekly time frame here on bitcoin and yesterday bitcoin i've updated uh, my followers on twitter uh, yesterday bitcoin broke uh, this uh, potential channel that i was talking about yesterday enforcing the fact that if this was it this was the, the, the bottom of the retracement we could have gone to 17,000 now this is also based on uh, the Elliott wave principle we don't know if it's gonna happen or not one certain thing if we watch now this candle has less than 24 hours to be finished so we don't know yet what's gonna happen we don't know if Bitcoin goes over this again to be honest at the moment it doesn't look like it will um, so I am more confident that this will look like a um, shooting star at the end of the day like it is already looking or something like that we do not know but certainly it doesn't look bullish at this point and Considering this other um, doji here, we can tell that there is a, a strong rejection of Bitcoin above the eleven thousand dollars. Okay, because yeah, every time it goes up, it's being sold. It's being sold, but there is also a good support. about the same price at 10,000 so this area of this spinning top now becomes something very interesting and maybe I would do this and let me just okay it needs to be green so far so let's make it green uh, support okay uh, but yeah it doesn't look very bullish I, I would say at this point that we we may we, we may try to to find a bearish position at the moment so we, we may try to short Bitcoin rather than go long um, so now in the daily one thing I would do at this point, this channel is not is no longer valid, right? So we can either do this and then obviously increase the span of this channel so it can still be here and if it's still here everything is still valid however Bitcoin seems to be following the downtrend of this channel here finding support at the top of this channel and if we check all the indicators we can confirm that it's trending down so RSI is trending down, MACD is trending down, there was no crossover here and yeah there is a bearish engulfing here which is more or less at the same height of this other bearish engulfing so you see it didn't, it didn't even try to break this resistance here 
and it did another bearish engulfing uh, and it's going down now everything depends now here this area is the, the spinning top in the weekly time frame and I think if it if we break this then the only the only bit that could provide us with some resistance will be this hammer and if the bottom of this hammer doesn't hold then yeah it's definitely confirmed that it goes down at least if we check on a daily but if we go on shorter time frames we can already see probably what the real color the true colors are and okay as I was saying in the weekly there is a good support in fact all these shadows the lower shadows here are telling me that people buy Bitcoin at that price um, let me just check whether the price action Mm -hmm. because I don't look at Bitcoin before doing the analysis so this is the first time I see it this morning with you okay so is the word here there was a um, evening star the hammer did not hold did not create any resistance here even because it wasn't really oversold it wasn't on I mean it wasn't in the ideal position it wasn't really in the ideal position for a hammer to be a reversing a reversal signal then it went down the body of the candles are getting smaller and smaller and here there is we can see there is rejection you see this price line then um, eleven thousand three hundred dollars there is rejection and we have now a dragonfly doji here with a good volume so people people bought bitcoin here now who bought bitcoin the amateurs or the professionals and at this point at this point due to what happened in the past days i doubt it is the amateurs right I, d I do doubt it is the amateurs because people now are not I don't think news are good for Bitcoin I don't I don't I don't check I don't check the news I don't listen to the news but people are not asking me anymore about Bitcoin this is a sign because they know I mean cryptocurrencies and they ask me about Bitcoin they ask me about Ripple they ask me about many things mm so I, I would tend to think that this is professionals however <clears throat> I am not very bullish I mean I, I think Bitcoin is going to drop at, at least uh, at 233 or even I mean the EMA or even at 8400 ish if not slightly more to be honest so I would probably imagine Bitcoin entering this channel again and that's because I see the altcoins there are altcoins that are giving signals of reversal in long time frames and that cannot be ignored so money are being moved there and from what from Bitcoin because I'm checking altcoins belonging to Bitcoin so where the base currency is Bitcoin and this may quite well be a professional bunch of traders or a bunch of professional traders just entering here so that it goes up and people keep buying again so it goes back to the news and people say oh yeah yeah it's going up it's not going down they buy and then they are sold that's what I feel to be honest um, RSI and MACD are just indicating that Bitcoin is now bouncing over the 40 and there could be a reversal but to be honest it doesn't look like it's going if it is one it's going to happen very soon 
um, if we go in the three hours in the three hours we can see now that 233 EMA is providing support but there was a crossover of everything so let me just fix something here because I don't like it this is a 13 EMA yeah okay so we want this copy remove paste okay then we have the 13 I hate to have this in the wrong order so sorry uh, 13 remove paste right order then we have the 21 copy boom paste then we have the 34 here it is so you also see a little bit of how I use or how to use trading view okay 34 then we have the 55 here copy other oh, 55 we said okay paste and then finally the 233 EMA copy remove paste Con control or command V to paste okay now they are in the right order so this is the the bullish order and the opposite is the bearish order so you can tell we have the bearish order here in the three hours and the 233 is providing support I think the same thing has happened here okay and it did work now here we have a bullish engulfing candle this is a very strong reversal signal and I believe it is going to work so this is valid I do validate this I think Bitcoin in the next period so in the next candles uh, made by three hours will go up now the thing is we don't know up to what it may just simply go up to the 55 or maybe just the same height at the, of this or the same area because this one could be pretty much the area from here to here we can have this resistance now I for simplicity I draw lines but resistance and support areas are always areas not lines so it could be this area here uh, if it doesn't break this area here so if it doesn't make a higher highs higher high here which is possible um, yeah definitely we validate the downtrend mm -hmm. if we go in the hour in the hour there is lower lows ah, higher high but you see that, that's another confirmation look so we have this resistance here right then we have an attempt here the name of this is not I don't remember how it's called in the in the candlesticks book but it's a typical setup for a bearish entry because we have this resistance which is which was support but it was broken right then we have an attempt to break it which fails meaning that this price is not sustainable and this should be used as a stop loss the top of this bearish candle here this is a bearish harami and we should enter just at the bottom of this candle right all these things are explained in the swing trading course and also in the you know the swing trading course there is a link in the description is is the one i'm following now is the one i bought and it's really good and in the candlestick books both the first the the, the first book that is in the description and the, there's also another one that i haven't linked yet which is beyond candlesticks 
I didn't link it yet because I haven't finished to read it and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just the same stuff proposed in a different book which is not so far I mean there, there are there are common facts but it's not it's not the same book and there are few more uh, concepts that are very interesting but I haven't I don't recommend it yet okay but yeah this is a typical example now it, it also has a name I remember when it happens on the bottom so let's say this is the um, support and it does this which is called a spring because like a spring it goes back up and it doesn't bounce down anymore unfortunately I don't see this happening I see this happening and that's because of the price action because of the EMAs are already telling us there is a downtrend um, so but yeah and when it happens to the top it, it has a different name it's not called spring but I really forgot it I, I don't want to take the book because it's on my back pocket backpack and I, but anyway yeah so and this happens it may, it may be professional traders trying to place in the book a huge order and these orders make people buy and then they cancel the order and the sales happen uh, we can see here there was this kind of hammer shape that didn't really provide any resistance any support at all and it went all the way down here now another very typical thing is this look it goes down it goes lower and then it finds support higher than that so it goes down goes lower and then it finds support here so now probably what we should expect is this flirting here right I I make this line here just to show this could be the area where now we see up and downs but this one probably is going to be the biggest the biggest resistance the biggest resistance, resistance to break so let me also make one here but ideally what we could possibly see is Bitcoin now bouncing between these two lines and maybe this could be the support for a shorter term but I'm more I'm more on the bearish side so I would consider this this and then eventually it will keep dropping but actually you know yeah these lines I'm not even going to make them I will try to update you during the day on Bitcoin today via Twitter if you want um, okay so this is all I think the correction has to happen um, the bearish crossover has occurred on the 233 so we should expect a a broad a broad correction a broader than this so this is just the beginning and now we need to see up to what before there is a correction now does it mean Bitcoin is done no that doesn't mean so it just means that now Bitcoin is doing a healthy correction in my opinion if we check the RSI we see that there is a divergence already look is trending up while the price action is trending down so yeah maybe it just goes down one more once more and then it resumes we do not know we cannot know really um, at this point as long as this is the bottom we can still assume it's again on a bullish trend so in a, it's in an uptrend but yeah I don't think Bitcoin would drop drastically below this all today I mean it would be a huge a huge big candle which can be but yeah I, I, I foresee a correction of that uptrend and this correction may be done here or may not and if it's not I, I wouldn't be concerned anyway okay so I hope you enjoyed the video if you have please let me know with the likes and comments and if you haven't also please let me know in the comments please subscribe to the channel we're we're reaching now nearly 70 subscribers the channel is very new and i'm so happy thank you very much for the support and i'll see you tomorrow with another update have a beautiful sunday bye bye